Hey there guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And I was just trying to think of a video and I couldn't really think of one, okay? But I did think of one. Top five settings you should change in Android. Number one. All right, this will be very simple. Now, sorry, I gotta turn the light off. All right, so what you wanna do is go into your device's settings, just like I, I am right now. And you go to about phone. As you can see, uh, I literally don't care if my number's in here, to be honest with you. Um, you click, now everybody's is different, but so try to find something that says software. And if it doesn't have that, then it's probably all in there, just raw. You want to try to find something that says build number, okay? And you click it a bunch of times until, like it says, you are a developer. Yay! Um, <laughs> and pretty much what you want to do is you have a new option called developer options. You click it. And don't be, don't be paranoid by all this stuff. It will ask you to turn it on. You want to. You want to scroll down and where it says Windows Animation Scale. And what that is, it's like a little animation or like a fade every time you open an app. And if you turn it off, it will make your phone a lot faster. See, watch. I'm going to turn these on now. Oop, sorry. See now? You see how it slowly fades? See how it does a little animation? Now if I turn it off, look, it's instant. And if your phone is still slow, then that's just the raw speed of your phone. Your phone's just garbage. But it does make your phone a little faster, and you get to actually see your phone's raw performance. So, yeah. Also, I also recommend is to turn off, turn on do not keep activities. Turn it on, background process limit. Now, I would do standard limit, so like, because certain apps will not run properly if you have it on no background processes, so you need to have it on standard. Let's go to something else. Alright, I am back, and I'm at the home screen, if you can't tell. Um, and pretty much what you want to do now is, it could be different, you could have a little app launcher thing in the bottom, you could, you know, it's just different for everybody. But I swipe up to look at my apps, and let's just say like Instagram isn't working, right? Now this is a pretty common thing, and also the lines on my phone is because my phone's old. Alright, don't judge. But let's just say Instagram's not working. You can't get it to work, you're connected to Wi-Fi, it's just being funky. Now, on mine, I can hold down and get app info, but most people's phones will not do that. So you go to settings. And you want to find where it says applications or apps. Default apps permission manager. Click that and you have a bunch of apps. Now I'd recommend clicking the three little dots and then sort by. Because you want to go by size. Because this will let you know the biggest apps on your phone. Which is most likely social media apps, right? And so it makes sense to do it by that. Like Snapchat, 800 megabytes. Now I'd recommend doing this monthly because it could save you a lot of storage. You just force stop it and you click storage and you can clear the cache A. See at the bottom? Now it might be a little different for you, but it's, it's still going to be on the screen. The button might be right here instead of right here. Um, and also if you can move your apps on an SD card, do it. Note, it has to be a class 10 SD card or some apps will not move properly. Instagram. Now, depending on how much you use the social media, the more the cache. And ca the cache is pretty much like images that are loaded constantly on your phone to ensure that it loads faster. But it really it puts a lot of strain on your phone. See, all the pictures I posted are saved in a little... Like a little thumbnail type thing, but it makes a lot of storage. So I've already cleared about 500 megabytes already, which is a lot for a phone, right? Now, if I go ahead and clear Facebook, yeah, you, know, you want to force stop it every time, though. All right, that's about another 100 megabytes. All right, I don't know how much that was actually on that screen. Google also uses a lot. It, it just depends on what apps you use a lot. Let's see. I haven't used Reddit at all this month on my phone because they do it on my computer, so it's in kilobytes. For Google, though, in order for you to actually clear it, you have to click Manage Storage, and it will take you to the separate page. And I just do clear all data. There you go. It works. Like a charm. Yeah. Now, 
you could probably save over a gig a month if you do this, right? Chrome, if you use the browser app, I use the browser app a lot on this phone, so it really does um, hurt your phone a lot, and it makes the browser faster, or not faster, but it makes the browser run better if you do this daily. Now, just from those four apps, or five, I don't remember, uh, I saved about 800 megabytes. Isn't that just insane? Next tip. Okay, so also another way to save a lot of storage is doing this. Now, if you have a file manager app on your phone already pre-installed, that's the one you'll want to use because you do not want to erase important system files. Now, you can click internal storage, hold down one, and you see the little button that says all right there? You want to click it. No, this will delete everything, like not apps, but like especially your photos. Photos are normally stored in DCIM, so I'm just going to uncheck that for me. And then you click delete. Of course, I have trash. I don't know. Yours could be different, okay. But if I just click empty, it deletes everything internal storage except important files. So, like, it will keep important files. See, it won't, it, like, watch. If I'll try to delete this. Yeah. It won't let you. Um, now, sometimes it will delete the folder. It what I, Like, it's still actually on there. It makes it look like it's deleted, so the user's happy. Like, it's, like, some of the apps will do that, so it makes it, you know. It's to keep it secure. Like, the phone will not let you delete important system files, just like Windows. I don't know if I have five. <laughs> oh, yeah, also, how to pretty much... Okay, this is only for Android... 9 and up, I believe. And this is how to enable dark mode. A lot of people seem to have a problem with dark mode working, and it's pretty simple. All you have to really do is you just go up here, dark mode, and if it's not dark mode, try night. Of course, for some reason, oh, come on now. Oh, no, it is dark mode. Oops. So display, dark mode. And if you don't have dark mode, what you would have to do is flash it. You can get some apps, but they don't work properly. The app I would recommend, though, the dark mode app I would recommend is dark mode everyday apps and Appy Tome Tech. But it only works for apps, so it won't work for, you know, like this. How it's white. It won't work that way. Um, you could get a launcher, that's what I would recommend, because then you would be able to actually customize your phone fully and be able to use dark mode if you find a launcher that supports it. Um, yeah guys, this is the end of the video, I hope you liked, um, liked it.